Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn and tea host, Jennifer. The reason I'm your tea host is because on Tuesdays we show tea. <laughs> we also show other stuff. Uh, I have some really exciting yarn that I cannot wait to show you. Oh man, this has been a couple of weeks, okay? Now yesterday, before we get into the tea, <laughs> I have right here, I also I have it already steeping in my, my Tuesday... Tuesday tea with cinnamon cup. Wow, my brain stalled there. <laughs> Which, by the way, stay tuned all the way through to the end of this video because I have to talk about something in regards to that. <laughs> but if you want a teacup of your own, they are always available in my Teespring shop, which is always linked below the video. Okay, today, well, let me let me descramble my brain so I can concentrate. Back here is a really cool little project bag that has the fruit yarn that I showed yesterday. Now I, full disclaimer, I am recording this on Monday. <laughs> so good Monday morning to me, good Tuesday or Wednesday morning to you depending on when you watch this. Okay, so <laughs> in that bag is the new Fruits yarn by Premier. And as of the recording of this video, my video is up for the fruit tea, not tea, the fruit yarn. <laughs> is not yet on Premier Yarn's website, and so I am very impatiently waiting for them to let it go live on the website because I really want to buy some of the... I don't know that I'm going to buy more of the sock yarn because I really need to just make myself some socks <laughs> before I order more sock yarn. We'll talk about that probably next week because I did order sock yarn before I found out this yarn was being released. But I will show you that next week because this week's videos are already like it's already all planned out. We are... <laughs> I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy. Um, I had a little bit of a meltdown last week because... It, I, I didn't update you guys on Monday on what was going been going on. So we'll do a quick little recap on life. Then we'll get into the tea and then I'll show you some, some yummy yarn goodness. Um, you guys know that I'm planning premiere week. Um... And as you can tell, my brain is going about a mi million miles a minute and my mouth cannot keep up with how fast my brain is changing from subject to subject. <laughs> so I am going to apologize ahead of time if I'm stumbling, stuttering, or flipping back and forth from subjects. I am planning premiere week. <clears throat> I am, I just finished, I just finished a tutorial for you guys. I cannot wait to show you that premiere week, by the way, is... Look at my calendar. This is why my my happy planner is so happy because it is so filled with. Okay, dropped my mascara. Monday the fourteenth through the eighteenth of March will be premiere week. We are going to feature premiere yarns, and I'm going to have a tutorial for the yarns that I show you. And so right now I'm in the process of filming tutorials, which take this this tutorial took me four days. And in between filming tutorials, I'm filming my weekly videos. I filmed, I filmed nine videos and started a tutorial in a seven day period. Yeah, I need lotion. My hands are dry. I forgot lotion. I, I, this is why I keep it on my desk. And in the living room and in my, bad, my bedroom. <laughs> There's lotion everywhere. <laughs> lotion everywhere. Um, so we're working on all of that, and in all of that, last week, I also got three different companies emailing me, wanting to work with me for either sponsorship or, um, sending me product or stuff like that. So it's a really big deal. Um, part of that was Premier Yarns. They were one of the three. Um, I did the Hobie sponsored video which was so scary to do but we're gonna have um another hobie unboxing friday i think it's friday i think that's when i have it set to load yes friday we will have hobie my, the purchased hobie that i that i bought myself and i'm also <laughs> i feel like i'm losing my mind because i got so much i literally filled three weeks worth of plans on my planner and there's just so many details and I'm also aside from filming the regular weekly videos and the tutorial videos I also had to film 
the giveaway videos that I'm attaching to each one of this week's videos. And then on top of that, I have to record five of the yarn videos that are going to be paired up with a tutorial. So I, I'm really, really stressing out a little bit. <laughs> so my tummy's hurting. So that's the reason we picked, and, and it's a stress tummy issue. Uh, that's the reason I picked this tea because I, a couple of reasons. Okay, this is Plum Deluxe. I have shown Plum Deluxe before. I have shown this, I think I've shown this tea before in an unboxing because I purchased this myself. It is the Summer Rain Herbal Tea. I don't know if this was a limited tea blend or if it's still on their website. I will link it below if it is, but what is in this is fruit with a hint of spice. It has green rooibos, red rooibos, which you guys know I love rooibos. It is like my favorite tea. Mango pieces, apricot pieces, orange peel, cinnamon and anise, clove, cardamom, nutmeg, ginger, calendula, mango, passion fruit essence, no caffeine. Um, so, cue my bird clock. The reason that I'm I chose this today is because a few things like the I really like the rooibos, but when I drink teas with citrus or orange, which this has. And it also has ginger. That kind of helps my stomach to settle down a little bit. So that's why we picked this one. I have not had this. And this is a loose leaf tea. So I have my favorite. I mean, let me try to do this. This is why I need to make left-handed cups. Because <laughs> my Tuesday tea with cinnamon is on the other side. You guys can't see it. Okay, so this is my favorite diffuser. This is Oaks Oak. OXO brand. I don't know how you say that. Oh ho. Um, I put my tea in. I put my little diffuser in there. I put the tea in and then I pour the hot water over it. And then when I'm ready to pull it out, I just pull it out and I set it down. Let me give this a little stir. It's very good for keeping the, um, the minuscule little um, chunks of tea out of my mouth. Because it has a really good strain on it. There we go. I switched hands. Cheers. <laughs> it's still really hot, so I'm probably going to burn my mouth. And I just brushed my teeth, so it's probably not going to taste real good. Yeah, I probably should have not done that, but I mean, I needed to brush my teeth. <laughs> I really like the company Plum Deluxe. Um, I'm starting to learn from you guys more tea companies. Um, Plum Deluxe came to me, I think in October, and offered to send me some tea so I could show you guys. And I had a coupon code and all that, which I do not have anymore. Uh, I'm sure you can find coupon codes through their, uh, through, you know, the internet. Search Plum Deluxe coupon codes. I'm pretty sure you can find something. The prices are not bad at all, though. My cup is, like, screaming hot. My cup itself feels like it's going to burn me. I went in there with my my uh, my tea my electric tea kettle, which I love that thing. The whole family has been using it at this point, which is hilarious because <laughs> they're starting to use it to heat up water for other things like uh, ramen. Obviously, is really easy, or like you know, just when they need hot water, they use my tea kettle, which before we would use the microwave. And for some reason, when you heat something in the microwave, it doesn't stay hot as long. So it'll cool back off really quick, but when you use the electric tea kettle, this stuff stays piping hot for a while. I should probably tell you guys what this smells like. In the cup, it smells like Christmas. Um, it smells, it very much smells holiday because of the, the spices and the, the fruits. It just smells like the holidays. In the bag, I'm getting, I don't know what it smells like. <laughs> it smells so good. I want to like sprinkle this in my bath and like take a bath in it. It smells so good. I don't know. Not one smell stands out. I am also a little bit congested. Uh, it's that time of year for allergies. Not one smell is coming out to me, but like it smells... Uh, it doesn't smell particularly fruity and it doesn't smell particularly spicy, but it just smells It smells good. It smells good. I really like this. I like it a lot I wish it would cool down, but while it's cooling down before we get a taste test in I'm gonna tell you some yarn that I'm gonna show you in these neat little plastic bags now You guys know I watch Kim from affordably crafty <laughs> 
I love that she's constantly on the bargain shop. She's always on the search for a bargain because I myself love a good bargain. And sometimes she'll let me know about stuff that like I had no clue about. Well, she has a store by her called Savers, which I have a store about an hour north of me called Savers. It's a, um, it's a chain thrift store. So it's kind of like the Goodwill. Um, if you live in Michigan and Ohio, it's kind of like um, Value World, which used to be Value Village. It's kind of like that. It reminds me more of Value World than it reminds me of Goodwill. It is a very massive store and they have like everything. <laughs> I don't know why Savers has so much more stuff than like other thrift stores. I don't know where they get their stock from, but it's like so crazy to me. Like you and they always have stuff like what you're looking for. They probably have They have a huge book section. They have lots of like knickknacks, bric-a-brac. They had a whole row. This was crazy. Now at Goodwill, I'll go and I'll search out for like a crock pot because I like crock pots and I bought a brand new crock pot one time from the store. And it did not work and it malfunctioned so much and I hated the thing. So I went to the thrift store and bought myself one, <laughs> like an older crock pot that actually works, that actually the temperature works. Like, I don't know, like they're just not making stuff the way that they used to. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway, my point to that was that this thrift store specifically had about 20 crock pots of all sizes. They had toaster ovens and like all kinds of small appliances. They may have had an Instapot or two. It was insane. Yep, that's still kind of hot. It's really good though. I'm picking up a lot of the orange right now. But because I have toothpaste taste in my mouth, the orange tastes a little bit yucky, but... <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It'll fade. Anyway, so Kim keeps going to her saver store and showing like all this beautiful wall of like high end yarn that has been donated. And I'm so jealous of her store. And so yesterday I, it was beautiful outside. It was like 50 degrees out. The sky was blue and it, it kind of looks like that now, but it's still it's, it's only gonna be like 40 something today. It's kind of chilly. But I was like, we went out to Walmart to pick up little man's prescription. And while we were out, I texted Juju and I was like, you and Lucas get dressed. We're going out today. We are not sitting in the house. It is too pretty to go out or to stay in. And so she's all right, cool. And then Mr. Cinema's like, well, where are we going? I was like, I don't know, but we're not sitting in the house. <laughs> I don't care where I have to go. I'm not sitting in the house. And so he's all, well, you want to try Tuesday morning in Richmond? I was like, no, because Tuesday morning ain't got nothing. They have not had anything for a while now. I mean, it's been almost a year since I've actually found yarn at Tuesday morning. They just don't have it. And so this is getting on my nerves a little bit, falling down. I wore my hair like this because Mr. Cinnamon said I looked really cute the other day. And so I'm like trying to be cute for him. <laughs> so I did my hair up, you know. <laughs> like I said, my braid is like back and forth. I really am thirsty and I want to drink my tea, but it's hot. Oh, that was better. That tea is good. The tea is good. I highly recommend Plum Deluxe. Back to Kim. Kim, if you're watching this, I know that you get notified that I tagged you. I'm sorry if you don't understand and can't follow me because my brain is all over the place. Entirely my fault. So because, because I wanted to get out of the house and because Kim had been posting like lots of videos from Savers, I was like, I want to go to Savers. Let's, let's go up north. Let's go to Savers. And so, like, the kids are always down for that. Juju loves savers. She wanted to look for some clothes for herself. Um, she probably is going to need summer clothes pretty soon. And then little man definitely needed some jeans. So I bought him five pair of jeans. And one of them was mismarked. And that was my fault for not checking the inside tag and believing the outside tag. Um, so four out of the five fit him. But that's okay because I got him some Levi's. I got him some pants that are exactly like pants he's had before. They're like fancy name brand, like um, bougie pants. They're not, I can't even call them bougie. Um, they're very urban looking. That I I was gifted these pants for him like a couple years ago. He outgrew them, and somehow these pants—I'm sure they're the same pair of pants. I'm convinced made it back around to me. 
<laughs> They're exactly the same. <laughs> but because he, before he started his medication, was a size 16, he was a little chunker. And now he's back down to a size 10, which is crazy. I had to go buy him all new pants. And he's still very long torso, so he's still wearing, like, big shirts. Because otherwise he's wearing, like, half tops. <laughs> So we went to the, we went to Savers very happily. Everybody was happy to go. Um, and they had bags of yarn for two dollars and ninety nine cents. And the bags are just hanging up, and you don't get to choose. You don't get to like pick and choose which specific yarns you want. But it's like little mystery bags. But when I saw this one, I freaked out a little bit. And I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> so two ninety nine, and this one has one two. This one has four balls in it. This one has four balls in it. This one only has two, but I gladly paid $3 for that, and I will tell you about that yarn in just a second. So in Savers, they have a ton of those mystery bags. They have mystery bags with kitchen utensils. They have mystery bags with um, toys. Little Man got a mystery bag of toys for $3.99, and it had a Nintendo... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It is something that goes with Legend of Zelda and Nintendo 64 game. And it's one of the instruments for the video game. And he was so excited. He didn't know what it was, but when he got to the car and saw that it was Nintendo, it was worth the $3.99 by itself. <laughs> he freaked out. And it also had an electric full bob boggle game. And boggle is like these little dice with letters on it. And you shake it and you close it back up. And then you try to find as many words as you can out of the letter dice in a timed amount. And so those two toys, $3.99, I very gladly bought that from because he has been... I mean, we had a bad couple of days with him, but he, the past two days today, he was an angel getting ready for school. And he's very hard to get ready for school in the morning um, because he hasn't quite got his medicine in his system yet. He's not hungry, but he has to eat in order to take his medicine or else he won't eat at all during the day. And it's a very hard, but I think I figured out how to handle him. And that is, I have to have his clothes set out for him, but let him get dressed on his own. I have to tell him what he can have for breakfast or set it out for him. And then he cannot watch TV or play video games because he will get so distracted he won't remember to take a bite. And I have to, like, say, you need to have this done by this time, this done by this time, and this done by that time, and let him go on his own. That's what worked today. I hope that's what works in the future because I'm tired. There's some days I cry on the way home from dropping him off at school because it's so hard. So, just being real. Just being real. Some days are really, really hard. <laughs> He's been good the past two days, specifically. That's exactly what I needed this morning. So let's break into these bags since I have rambled for uh, almost 20 minutes. I haven't showed you any yarn yet. So like I said, these are $2.99 each. This bag I almost didn't get because I'm not interested in any of these yarns except this one. <laughs> the other two I grabbed because there's neon yarns in there. And if you know me, you know I love neons. And so I was holding this bag of like, is this worth $3? And I asked Juju. And she's all, I, and I told her, I said, is this worth the $3? Because I only want this skein right here. And she's all, well, how much would you pay for that skein in the store? And I didn't have an answer for that because there's not a label on it. I don't know what the yarn is. And the bag is sealed, so I couldn't feel the yarn. Obviously, I poked a hole in it, but... <laughs> Yes, I am one of those. I put my finger in there to feel it. Um, she said, how much would you pay for that? I was like, I don't really know. She said, if you would pay $3 for that skein of yarn in the store, then it's worth the $3, you know? I was like, all right. Because I don't, the pink is not my favorite. The purple is not my favorite. And the pink's not bad. But I just didn't want the extra, you know, I just wanted this one. <laughs> and I'll show you because I'm going to open these in a minute. And so... I looked at Mr. Cinnamon. I was like, okay, Mr. Cinnamon. I didn't call him. I called him Chris. I was like, um, hey, Chris. He's like, what? I was like, I just want this skein of yarn right here. He said, yeah. I said, is it worth $3 to buy this whole bag for just that skein? 
he's all, do you want that yarn? I was like, yeah. He's all, then it's worth the three dollars. So I was like, all right, you talk to me and do it. <laughs> so I got three bags for nine dollars. I paid twenty six dollars for pants for little man without blinking my eyes, but nine dollars I just couldn't. I don't know why. My brain just does not. So anyway. Oh, that's nice. Purple. This is a nice yarn. I tend to smell the yarns because you never know. I, I bought yarn from a thrift store one time. Actually, twice this happened to me. And it was sealed in bags. And I got it home. And one of them was a huge garbage, clear plastic garbage bag filled with yarn. And it smelled like a cat had peed all over it. And I was like, oh, and it was evident that it was cat pee because it had yellow sticky on the outside and I tried to save what I could and wash those skeins and ended up throwing the whole bag in the garbage because it was not savable because the urine had crystallized into the yeah it was nasty it was so gross I was so upset and then another time I bought a big plastic bin of yarn and it was really bad of cigarette smoke however I threw some in bags like um, mesh bags in the washing machine and then I caked them up and balled them up afterward. This was in the very beginning of my crochet process when I needed yarn didn't have any and I needed it to be on a budget. Can you see that there's like this really beautiful sheen on this? I have no idea what this yarn is but it's nice. All right this was worth the three dollars. Look at that. I know you guys can see that. It is so beautiful and it's soft it's not sticking. This doesn't feel like anything I'm familiar with. So this could very well be high-end yarn and I would just have no clue. I would have no clue. Let me give you guys a close-up look. So you can see my light. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I should put these over here. This is the one that I wanted because you guys know I love variegated. It's so pretty. It's very pastel-y. See, my light. I need to move my light. Hang on. <laughs> I gotta move my light. Because it is too close to me and it's not. And now I'm trying to stick it in. And not hit the window. This video is a hot mess. This is why you guys come to me, right? Because I'm crazy and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so <laughs> that, that looks better, right? Yeah. Let's shine it on the yarn a little bit. And that's pretty. And this again, is it's not, this one's a little bit more textured than the purple. It's not as soft, but it's not rough at all. This is so pretty. So if any of you can identify any of these yarns because you have them in your stash, you recognize them, go ahead and say, hey, that rainbow one is such and such. But that's what, that skein, is why I wanted this. Then there was some Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn in the color Chocolate Sparkle. I don't like this one at all. So I'm probably gonna redonate that to a different thrift store. This one smells like perfume. Oh, it smells like grandma perfume. Not stinky, gross grandma perfume, but like, hey, my grandma smells nice. This is a baby pink. This is very soft. This, I know that I've had this yarn before. I have no idea what this is. It's soft though, it's very soft. It's very, it's coming out way lighter. Let me see if I can get the camera to show you. All right, come on. It's a little bit, it's a little darker pink than what's showing. Yeah, it's coming out very white. So that was bag one. That was definitely worth the $3. I'm glad Mr. Cinnamon talked me into that. And on the way home, I was like, well, thanks for talking me into buying that yarn because I was I was not going to buy it. I didn't, you know. And he's all, I knew that the answer you were waiting for me to hear is, is oh, wow. I knew the answer you were waiting to hear was go ahead and buy that for yourself. So I just told you that. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. He's all, I don't, and he, I don't think he understands why I, I wouldn't have paid three dollars for that. And he doesn't understand why I have shopper's guilt, and he doesn't understand why I'm like, oh, do I really need that? Or like, I feel bad buying that for the one skein of yarn when someone else could have probably used all this. And this is my head. This is my head spaces. 
if I buy that and I only want the one skein of yarn, now I got yarn that someone else could have used, but I am going to donate it back into the community. I really am. So I just need to stop with the negative talk. Oh, that is exactly what I needed this morning. So, the reason I purchased this one, I totally have a story behind this skein of yarn. <laughs> I totally do. A while ago, I found this yarn at a thrift store. It still had the label on it. It did. And I knew the colorway, and I've showed it in a video, I'd say probably three years ago on this channel. Maybe two years, two and a half years ago. Staple. Don't belong there. I'll show you the white. For, oh, the white feels yuck. This is going to go. This feels like either really bad crusty acrylic or woolish. And they're, it's covered in someone else's hair. So that's going to go right back in the bag. And this is not going to stay in my house. It is covered in someone else's hair. It's going to go to the box of donate that's right there so <laughs> this is really the reason this was well worth the three dollars for me and you guys are going to <laughs> i know i'm gonna hear it in the comments red heart super saver yes <laughs> i have been on the lookout for this colorway for about two and a half three years um this i found and this has someone's hair on it too oh gross they have a garbage can close by. Kind of gross. Okay, so this is an older version of Red Heart Super Saver, and you can tell that by the label. Because the newer labels, I don't think I have. I don't think I have any Super Saver. I don't like Super Saver. Okay. I have said this in the past. It really bothers my skin. However. I have had this colorway before and for some reason my camera is not showing you how amazing this colorway is. This is called Day Glow and I made Little Man a hat out of this yarn I think when he was three. I think it was three years ago. And I made myself a hat pairing this up with some Premier Yarns Neons which I still have the orange. I think I have the pink which I'm not seeing on my shelf. I know I have neon orange. I know that I have neon green. You see right here next to my plaque sign. I have the neon blue somewhere down here. And then I have, I know that I have neon pink as well. So I have yarns that are almost these exact colors that I can match up with this and make like a bigger project, which I am going to do. Um, I loved this colorway so much because it's so bright neon <laughs> you guys know i love neons um i have been on the search and i actually asked i asked in that video where i showed the hat i made for a little man and i think i made myself a cowl and a hat set i asked if you guys have red's heart saber super saver day glow like let me know <laughs> like i was on the lookout if you find it Pick it up. I'll pay for you to ship it to me. Like, I, I wanted the yarn. So when I found one skein of Dayglow, I snatched it up. Now, this does look like it has been kind of abused a little bit. But, like, that don't bother me. It's just, it's so neon. It's so pretty. So that made me really excited. This, by itself, was worth the $3. And... There are like a few colorways of Super Saver that I will sacrifice my skin to work with. And this actually doesn't feel like super bad. Like some Super Saver colorways are so rough on my skin. Like I cannot use Super Saver purple at all. I can't. It tears my skin. Um, this one doesn't feel so bad. This one doesn't even feel as rough as the, um, uh, the ombre stripes or whatever the Super Saver ombre was. I couldn't use that at all. It it tore my skin. This I've worked with before, so I know that I can. But look at that. You like the watermelon section, orange and yellow section. This is so pretty. So that made me, 
made me so happy. And then I showed this one, and this one is the reason I bought this bag. And I showed it in my Facebook group, and several people were like, that's a really hard colorway to find. I think they called it Black Lights of the Super Saver. They said that a lot of people were on the search for it and couldn't find it. I don't know for certain that's what this is, because I'm not an expert with Super Saver at all. But there's some other yarns in here that I don't mind that I will keep. I spilled tea on my blouse that I was super excited about as well. So this one was definitely worth the $3 too. If you have, if you go to Savers, I think it's savers.com. Search up Savers thrift store and see if there's one near you. I don't know if it's an East Coast thing. It very well could be. It very well could be. Um, but there's lots, like Michigan and Ohio has Value Value World, which is very, very similar to Savers. This staple is hidden. I can't find it. I can't find it. Well, we're going to have to rip this bag. That's fine. We'll rip it. So that I can tell you, I already know what this yarn is. I have this yarn. This is line brand, I think, Hometown USA. Hometown? Maybe it's a red bulky is a line brand yarn. I have this colorway. I know for a fact because I've worked with it. This works up really fast. This is a really soft, nice yarn. So that I don't mind. This looks like the same yarn, but in black. This feels kind of like old acrylic. And I know you're not going to be able to see the colors because it is very, very, very pastel. <laughs> but it's pastel baby colors. Come on, focus. See, it's very, very light. You almost can't see that there's color on that at all. It feels a little gross, but I'm sure someone will be able to use that. And then this one, which I was told is black light is very very cool this is rougher than this one this is what i mean by super saver some of it like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to use this i am certainly gonna try but it is oof, it is it's bothering me i might not be able to use it <laughs> it is definitely way rougher than this i don't understand that it looks the same. It feels totally different. But yeah, I was told that that was black light super saver or something like that. And so, you know, you know, nine dollars worth of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I got nine skeins for nine dollars. That's not bad. Well, actually, I got ten, but I threw one away because that was gross. That was so gross. Oh, it is the perfect temperature now. And I've almost guzzled half a cup. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned to the end of this video. There's a special little surprise at the end. <laughs> but we've made it 35 minutes almost. And I've just been talking and talking. I'm super excited. Definitely check out your thrift stores. Um, check out my Teespring shop. Comment below. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. It's Tuesday tea with cinnamon. You know what that means? It means it's a giveaway day. And that means we're giving away a coffee mug or a teacup, if you will, from my Teespring shop. You can have one of the Tuesday tea with cinnamon cups in any of the colors that it is available in. Um, that will be the prize for today. All you have to do is comment below. It's not hard. This is not sponsored by anybody but me, myself, and I. This is just a giveaway for my... 25,000 subscribers. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be United States only giveaways because just because shipping is outrageous and I cannot afford to ship all over worldwide. But don't worry, Thursday there's an international giveaway too. So I'm trying to make sure everybody's happy and get something, you know. So yeah, you want to win a cup? We can have our little drink seats together. That is today's prize. All right, tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's a good one.